gonna start off this video with apologizing if you can hear the vibration because we've got construction going on back here, over here, over here. We've got construction going on back here. They're actually building a road behind um, the neighbor's houses. And then we've got a new house going in over there. And right now my whole house is vibrating from one of those sites, heavy equipment going on. So if you hear it, I apologize, but let's just jump right in, shall we? Shall we? We shall. Shall we? So today we have a package from Diamond Art Gift. First off, I got a oil slick single placer to go on my blue pin with my tin placer. Because like I had said before, I am trying to replace all of the original tips with the new metal tips. And I messed up. I got a square. So I hope it's not going to be a pain in the neck working with the rounds. I don't think so because squares are, the facets are about the same. I'm going to miss when I see my scissors even match. I love this. I love it. Love it. Love it. All right, clean up my mess here. This goes over there, it can stay here. So we only have three things, three things, yeah. We have three things to share today. So I'll try to go a little bit slow, but I'm not real good at that. So let's just jump right in, okay? Okay, so we have another box. A giant bag that the items are in, which I don't understand all this plastic. What is with all the plastic? My boss is over there behind the computer. She can't get to me because I have stuff everywhere. So first off, we have our standard toolkit. As always, we have our chain. And we have a Look how cute. So if I get this done, I'm hoping it will go on my Easter tree. I know it's a heart, it should be on this tree, but this tree is full. It doesn't have any more room for any more ornaments, especially one this big. And so far I haven't gotten very many Easter things to put on my tree. So I thought this would be a cute one to go on the Easter tree. So as you can see, it's just a bunch of different daisy type flowers, daisy looking flowers, however you want to say it, and almost a rainbow. Well, I guess a rainbow, there is some green there, so that's pretty much rainbow. And I want to look at the drills to see if they really are, although they're rhinestones, so it should be rainbowed. And I figure a rainbow is fitting for Easter. Oh, that's weird. There's a broken link from, one of, from the chain. It's still attached. I don't know. Anyway, um, rainbow is fitting for Easter because Jesus, um, of course we know Jesus died and rose again, but rainbow is God's promise. So I figure that all kind of like ties into God and Jesus. I don't know, is that stretching it? Could be stretching it. All right, so it looks like these are gonna be pretty vibrant. Look at this orange, isn't that a beautiful color of orange? It's so pretty, I like it. So purple, orange, purple, two shades of blue. I take that back, three shades of blue. Pink, green, and another beautiful peach. We have large red rounds and yellow rounds. We have some smooth top blue rounds, some green rounds, and then we have beautiful purple teardrops and then another beautiful peach. So yeah, that, that can, that's spring. Not as, not as, there's no red, so we can, well, there is red, but. I think it's springy looking. I'm gonna use it if I get it done in time. I hope I do. All right, so there is our heart daisy 
Rainbow Heart Daisy. Chain in there so it's not roaming around. And then quickly get this back in the box. Maybe if I can pick it up. Ta da! There we go. Back in the box. Signed, sealed, blood. <laughs> All right. Next, we have Jade's. I almost didn't get these. I was like, this is kind of weird. But I kept, I kept thinking about them while I was looking at other stuff. So I was like, okay, gotta go. So they are a little bit different. So we have our standard toolkit with our hanging cords. We have our tiny pack. Not very many rhinestones at all, which is kind of weird, considering there are like eight. Yeah, there's eight of them. Okay, so first off, we'll start with the round one. Is a gingerbread house. Just wait. You're probably thinking, what's weird about a gingerbread house? Just wait. They get they get different. So there's our gingerbread house, and it is the nice thick acrylic, but they are only one sided. Okay, here's where the weirdness comes out. We have a little gingerbread guy with roses. He's still cute. I'm, I'm really anxious to see these finished because they're just so different. And here we have, maybe these are supposed to be um, icing flowers. Because I was thinking they were regular flowers, but maybe they're icing flowers. So there's that one, it's just a set of flowers. We have another super cute gingerbread house with little people outside. Isn't that cute? So cute. Also just huffed and shook her head. She not, does not agree. This one kind of looks like he's holding a crochet hook. <laughs> it does. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it looks like a crochet hook to me. But you know, I've always got crochet on the brain, so. But it, this one's really pretty with the big rose and little flowers. Super cute. And then we have another one that kind of goes along with that one. A little fancy guy with a nice giant boutonniere on his chest. Look at that happy face, so cute. And next, we have this little guy with giant flowers. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Ugh. I still cough every once in a while, thanks to COVID. My throat gets a catch in it and I'm like, can't help it. Try to avoid it, but it just comes out. And then last but not least, we have our another gingerbread house surrounded by flowers. So see what I mean? It's, it's kind of different, but they're pretty. So I'm sure they'll look nice when they are done. Let's get them back in the bag. All nice and cozy in their little home. Like so. It doesn't want to close for me. Close, please. Nobody get lost. All right. And last but not least, we have adorable canvas. Ooh, different color tray. It's opaque green instead of clear green. See, look at the difference. Ba, ba, ba. Interesting. So interesting. 
All right, so this is a square diamond painting, which you don't see me get very often. The drills are packaged nicely in their own little zip top bags with the labels on them. Let's see, does it have the item number? Yes, it does. Okay, so it's good. I like the packaging. Let me flatten this canvas a little bit because it is very stiff. <laughs> it's so cute. So cute. I apologize for not doing this beforehand. Come on, wrinkles. Knock it off. Ready? Look at them! The little caroling kitties. They're so cute. I love it. Their little bows and their little scarves on and their little hats. So stinking cute. I love it. I love it a lot. And I love the warm glow coming from the windows in the house and the, the snow on the little ledges, the little Christmas trees in the back and the wreath. It is so cute. So this is a 30 by 40, as you can see there. We have 18 colors <clears throat> on this bad boy. So it won't be too challenging with it being square. So cute. Look at their little faces. Look at them. Adorable. Adorable. All right. What do you think? Do you like it? I think it's so cute. It's just so stiff. It's been a long time since I've gotten such a stiff canvas. I mean, it's like you can make a paper airplane out of this thing. All right. That's what I have for you today from Diamond Art Gift. Make sure you check out the links down below in the description box. And don't forget to leave me a comment because I love reading your comments. And I will see you again very, very soon. I love you. Bye.